Namaste, Big Cat Water Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 31st of January, the moon in Libra squares, Mars in Capricorn. This is not an ideal time for emotional bonding with others. Irritable, irritable energy is afoot. Potential arguments with your mother or a maternal figure as well as females may arise. Dig to the root of the issue, maintain your composure and try to see the situation from a different perspective. On the 1st of February, the moon in Scorpio squares Pluto in Aquarius. Be mindful of power struggles. This transit may evoke feelings of emotional intensity and aggression. Stay clear of drama and maintain your composure. Disagreements may surface over joint finances, inheritances, alimony and taxes. Attend promptly to any signs of illness in your pet. On the second, Mercury in Capricorn sextiles, Neptune in Pisces. Allow this aspect to immerse you in a fantasy cloud. While it's not ideal for sorting out facts and figures, it's the perfect time for creative projects. Expect a wealth of inspiration for dates. Put in an extra effort to look your best, big cat. Cat, cat. On the third, the moon in Scorpio, sextiles Mercury in Capricorn. Stay engaged in a variety of projects and explore new information, aligning with your fresh plans. Also, you have the moon in Scorpio, sextile in Mars in Capricorn. Enhance your ability to communicate effectively with the opposite sex. Positive relations may unfold at work or if you're an entrepreneur, anticipate an upturn in your business. On the fourth, the moon in Sagittarius sextiles, Pluto in Aquarius. This transit awakens your sentimental side. Adventures and bold actions might beckon you. The desire to travel may awaken within. Positive mental transformation is on the horizon. Dealing with taxes and shared, and shared finances should yield positive results. On the fifth, Mercury enters Aquarius, the planet of psychology meets the planet of communication, bringing out the detective in you. Sudden insights and unconventional ideas help you think outside the box. Focus on plans for change. On the 6th, the moon enters Capricorn, inducing a more serious and and strategic and determined mindset. Ambitious goals draw nearer. Your private life may take a backseat. Implement practical changes to your plans. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Make your wave. Ha ha. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your messages for the next seven days. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive in, darling dears, and unpack. Oh, you have a five. The energy of the one speaks about you evaluating everything, darling dears. Mm -hmm. 
and it's also um, a prompt for you not to make any major decisions until after the next new moon. Why? The new moon is about setting your intentions, darling dears. The next new moon will be on the 9th of February in Aquarius at 20 degrees and 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You also have the energy of the four. The four speaks about communication, so communications of all levels. It could be the contract signing, darling dears. It could be your bodily communications, your speaking, your reading, whatever it is, darling dears. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Someone or something new is coming into your life, darling dears, which is about to have a profound effect on your life. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five speaks about what? Conflict and confusion, darling dears, which fosters change. Mm -hmm. After all, you're not a tree, are you, big cat? No. Mm -mm. Anyhow, let's press on. The energy of the five is ruled by Mercury, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Your birthday could be the 5th, the 14th, or the 23rd, or this is a significant date in your life. You are having, you have the air of a free spirit around you, darling dears. Different. Mm -hmm. This may not have been the best of times that you've been through, darling dears, but remember, things will blow over eventually. If you're happy, it will be for some time. If you're sad, it will be for some time. The, the beauty of it is knowing that nothing lasts, darling dears. Everything is what? Finite. Mm -hmm. Except the Most High. Father God, Mother Isis. Okay. Your luckiest days will be Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. The letters associated to the number five is E, N and W. Okay. The letters associated to Mercury is E, H, N and X. All right. The numbers for you to avoid over the next seven days is two, four and six. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five um, speaks about of a problem in your home environment or around your home. Something that is going to take your attention. And Mercury is about you being able to solve issues with the least amount of, of problems, darling dears. It also speaks about wisdom and it also tells me that you will be going on some form of short journey outside of the ordinary over the next seven days, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Someone who is in a couple that doesn't have children, they're going through some serious debts, darling dears. Karmic debts, right? Financial debts. Everybody's knocking at their door. Good golly and gosh. They're going for it, darling dears. And the red energy of the red speaks about what root chakra darling dears their security their foundation is undermined if this this is a materialistic couple darling dears mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the energy of mercury is 741 hertz play that that music to yourself darling dears to get your what gusto up and going darling dears 74 hertz there's so many videos on youtube that you can find for that okay all right. The energy of the five is represented by the Hierophant in Tarot, darling dears. The Hierophant is the God card in Tarot. It speaks about wisdom being for the wise. Somebody may be going for higher education or you're in a position to be what? A student or a teacher. Always be a student of life, darling dears, because if you know everything, you're a fool. Mm -hmm. No one knows everything. You can always learn more. You're a big cat after all. Mm -hmm. All right. The energy of the five is what the fifth house. The fifth house is about um, your creativities and your confidence. Your confidence is up at this moment in time. It's also the house of children, um, um, pets, uh, vacations, your hobbies, darling dears. But somebody's speculating with their talents. It's also the house of what? Dating, romance, the SSX, as well as affairs. Beware of an affair, darling dears, at this time. Mm -hmm. But it's about drama.com, darling dears. Especially if you're a childless couple and you're up to your what? Short and curly in D-E-B-T. Mm -hmm. All right. The energy of the five in the astrological aspects is represented by a queen cux this is at 150 degrees so it speaks about a stressful situation is going to have what a quick change member told you that okay let's get i 
feel guided to get some intuitive cards before we kick right off. Messages for my water signs for the next seven days. Something to do with a father, a mother. This is family member style, mm -hmm. And this is consequences. Maybe you're going to be losing out on a family situation. Or you're realizing lost pain and acceptance that these family members was never your family, darling dears. You was just reared in their hemisphere. Consequences is what losing you for air, darling dears. People never realize what they've, they've got until it's gone. Mm -hmm. As a water sign, you are highly intuitive. You know when a situation is not for you. And a big cat doesn't fight for attention or company. No, you give them all of law 16 of the 48 laws of power. I put the, the 48 laws of power into the astrological houses. So we're on the fifth house. So law number five, your reputation is everything. Guard it with everything. Hang with four bottom feeders, you'll be number five. Now law number nine, win through your actions, never your words. Law number 16, your absence will garner respect. But it's not just for attention, darling dears. It's for air. Mm -hmm. Law number 26, keep your hands clean. Law number 45, Preach the need for change, but be slow to change yourself. Why? The reason for this, darling, is because we all need to change and everybody is at their own pace. You change at your own pace, darling, is when an epiphany strikes you. And law number 46, never appear too perfect. No one is perfect. Okay. Base of your deck, darling, is time. Mm -hmm. It's your time. Time has run out on some family members, darling, dears. And I'm saying what? Condolences. Somebody, it's also the passing of a family member. Yeah. Their time on this Malkuth is over. The card behind it is what? Believe it, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And underneath that, someone's got a personality disorder. Good golly and gosh. Hey, hey. Ooh, child. Put your third eye on all bitches and bitches, darling, just. Mm-hmm. Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message. We're going to use... Got some... What's this? Angels and... Angels and Ancestors deck. Follow my link in the description box below to my Amazon storefront if you wish to pro to procure your own deck. Your ancestors, think of what messages does your ancestors have for you over the next seven days? What guidance does your ancestors want to give you for the next seven days? Thank you. Your first card is sage. Be devoted and committed to what you want, darling dears. This also represents time. This is also about you what protecting yourself. Somebody's going to be writing something down to protect themselves or actually what? Writing down their next move. It also speaks about wisdom being for the wise. This is a single tree. So this is what keeping your own counsel, darling dears. Seen a lot of green for the heart chakra, darling dears. The heart chakra is Venus energy. So Friday is going to be significant for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. which I already called. We're going to read the deeper message of the card in a second. You've also got the winter. Take care of your needs, darling dears, first, remember. And in taking care of those those needs, darling dears, remember, you've got two cats inside you, the good and the bad. Whatever you feed in, darling dears, that is what you're going to draw to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the book, see what sage, sage is. Sage is on page 58. The 5 and the 8 goes to 13. That's the energy of what? Lean in, bestie. The death card, Scorpio energy. So somebody's leaving. This is going to be a painful breakup, divorce ending, but it's going to create a new beginning. Scorpio is the 8th house of death and rebirth, darling dears. This, you will see on the back end that it's a new chapter in your life and it's a blessing in disguise. Okay. to screenshot and read at your leisure or leisure the sage represents the wise one within when this card arises it shows you that you are preparing to become a great and insightful teacher to your peers it guides you to take notes as the wandering yogi is on this card because your knowledge and life experiences can impart incredible insight to those with whom you come into contact. This card is also about observation, becoming more aware of who you are and all of your inner workings. 
because the awareness can bring more clarity to your decisions. Devotion is a powerful energy. Right now, angels and ancestors want to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. Your committed, your sorry, your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized and your understanding that you are not only a body but also a soul is all you need to continue growing and expanding. Love it. I don't hate it. You've also got winter. That's on page 144. The chosen are assembling, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last but not the least, darling dears. And as I said, this is a new beginning for you. Last page begins what? A new chapter or a new book. Remember, you are the author. The sage has the pen as you have the pen, darling dears. For you to screenshot and read it, your leisure or leisure. It says, take care of your needs. Do everything you need to be at your best. Then move beyond your fears and limitations. You have an opportunity to move beyond your fears. Although you may feel in the dark, get comfortable with being in the unknown and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what may seem a challenging process. All right. Love it. New beginnings, darling dears. New beginnings are afoot for you. Okay, let's get a deck and ask some direct questions. So the deck, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is single, darling dear. Someone or someone's want to be single. This is about you understanding your wealth and adding tax. This is a realization. It's also about what making a healthier choice. Why? Because your mental health is your wealth. It's also about you what amalgamating your, your Skrillers.com. That's your money, darling dears, to create this new path for yourself. Yeah, listening to your higher mind. Mm hmm. The Nine of Pentacles also speaks about a well-deserved reward coming towards you. If you avoid drama, darling dears, this is about your independence. Your theme for this week is your independence. I'm keeping this. But then again, who go and check me, boo? Ha-ha! <laughs> mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles is Scorpio as well as what? Venus energy, darling dears. Love of self. Some of you are involved in the arts. You're extremely creative, darling dears. But Venus, again, is about knowing your worth. Leaving a situation will bring new abundance to you, new fertility to you. Mm -hmm. Solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole. Okay, what's the work and the finances looking like for the water signs for the next seven days? Seven of Pentacles sowing the right seeds. It also speaks about somebody maybe even speculating, looking for a new job, rewriting their resume, darling dears. But happy days are here again. It also speaks about someone being chosen for some kind of promotion where it's going to involve some form of travel. Yep, judgment energy. This is a new beginning for you, darling dears, but it's going to create a lot of energies, jealous energies directed at you. Six of Swords. But it's not your argument, darling dears. Somebody's also going to be moving up. I'm here moving, traveling towards a high rise. You're getting a flat. In We call it flats. Everywhere else it's called an apartment, but we call it flat in the UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're about to reap the benefits of your actions because you continue to make the right choices, darling dears. As a water sign, you're highly intuitive. King of Wands, futuristic thinking. It also speaks about, yeah, somebody stepping into a leadership role where they may be public facing. Mm-hmm. But it also speaks about your spiritual life, darling dears. This is the Eight of Cups. This is giving you what the strength to move away from situations that no longer serve you. You know you've, you, you've got the intelligence, darling dears. This is about you wanting to be in positions where your work makes you happy. And then it won't feel like work, darling dears. If you're going to write a resume, do it. Things are going in your favour. Because the seat, right, the frequency you're on, the seat at a particular table is being opened for you. Mm. Okay, let's give it another shifty. What about my single water signs? 
What's the intel on them? The recon. The singles. Yeah, no longer sacrificing yourself to a situation. Knight of Swords. This is moving away from a situation that was heartbreaking, darling dears. It also speaks about you. What? Your funds was directed to a situation where two of ones plus the two of swords. Good golly and gosh, what's gone on now? Mm -hmm. When we see two twos in juxtaposition, darling dears, there's definitely going to be a parting of ways. Yeah, leaving a situation, a situation where there you you thought it was an opportunity but you're choosing the single life no longer sacrificing yourself darling dears some of you have the bad ass alchemist ways once you let go of one thing in your life darling dears it creates a space for something better to fill it up you're definitely moving on darling dears two of swords speaks about it being a difficult decision one where you have to turn your back on a toxic temporary situation right ace of pentacles is the hand of god darling dear once you let go and you've made your mind up wholeheartedly, Knight of Swords, you can overcome anything. Yeah. This is about you gaining new knowledge on who you are, seeing things from a different perspective. Not at sacrificing yourself to situations that's kept you stuck for some time, darling dears. Energy of the five could be as much as five years. Mm -hmm. What about those in a partnership or relationship? recon on that oh, there's a lack of communication mm -hmm. when the cards are difficult to go together darling there's something to do with the communication for sure what's this we've got the page of swords and we've got the knight of cups someone is not paying attention to someone else's opinion darling dears yeah star card wanting to heal the, heal the situation somebody's avoiding the truth in a situation queen of swords which is making their partner extremely bitter the queen of swords in the reverse is someone looking to be divorced from a partnership in order to what so a new seed why because they feel like they're doing dealing with a skin peeling liar and every liar is a thief and every thief is a liar certain things aren't adding up for you and it's been going on for some time. We've got the knight to the queen, darling. Yes, that takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, page of cups. Someone's telling lies, darling. Yes, hangman. And you're no longer allowed, prepared to put up with the lies you're being told. You're about to disappoint them in a big way, darling. Yes, somebody thought that because of time, the amount of time you put into a situation, that you're going to language in a situation where you're being hoodwinked, tricked and bamboozled. Nope. You're looking at your options, mate. Because mm -hmm. you want peace, something which can't be bought or bartered. And it also speaks about being able to balance out your finances and your time. Yeah, Emperor Energy, this is you claiming authority over yourself, darling dears. But realizing that you was the gift or the prize in a situation. Yep, Two of Swords, Pine of the Ways. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult decision. But the, every decision, every circumstance, you have to choose yourself, darling dears. You've got one life on this Malkuf. It's the right decision you're making, Eight of Swords. Clear mind, but it's also about you. What plan, plotting and strategizing? What your next move or where you're going to is, darling dears. Death card, you're definitely finished with that. This is joint finances, um, the house of death, um, taxes, debt, karmic debt. You're leaving a situation behind, darling dears. What page of Pentacles? Going to look for your new opportunities. Mm. Okay. What about the health of the water signs? I am not um, a qualified doctor or nurse or anything like that. I am a qualified counsellor. However, if you feel that you've got an ailment in your body or your mind, please go and consult a medical professional. We're just seeing what the cards say. Somebody's letting go of some family, darling dears. Mm-hmm. We've got the Queen of Cups on her face, darling dears. This is um some kind of... I believe that you need to be speaking to a counsellor or someone or a mentor, someone that you can trust, darling dears. Emotions are well and truly down. King of Wands. This is about being hoodwinked, being with a, a situation that was extremely draining. Draining. Yeah. We've got the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You're going to take a risk, darling dears. If you don't get this... This help that you need this looks like a counselor darling dears or someone that you respect for advice when we see two kings on the tableau darling dears it speaks about 
good advice get good advice and that means going to the right person that is qualified to give you the advice darling dear about your health but it definitely sees something to do with mental health emotional health that needs to be checked yeah yeah so you can clear your mind darling dears six of pentacles and two of wands you want someone that's going to be able to what sort things out darling dears rearrange them maybe you've been overthinking and it will affect your health in the long run remember i told you that get your health sorted out darling dears and it definitely is tied into your mental health okay so the overall theme was solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole, nine of pentacles. But it also speaks about success in taking the step. Remember, it's always the first step. That's the hardest, darling, dears. After that, you lace on your nikes and continue with your tinky winky. Mm -hmm. The overall lesson. We've got the star, darling, dears. You can overcome anything, darling, dears. You are more than a conqueror. It's about what the subconscious mind, the war, the war between the conscious and the subconscious mind, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Star card, Aquarius, energy. Be prepared for what people to change on you at the drop of a hand. You're also taking on the knowledge that people can be wicked and hide their intention, but it always comes out in the wash. This is about you stepping into... Once you let go of a situation, darling dears, watch how the universe will change things for you. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. Uranus is also technology. Maybe you're going to get the change through technology. Empress energy, bossing up, darling dears. Fertile energy, knowing your worth. Know your worth in every situation, darling dears. And if it's an unhealthy situation, know your worth and leave. Why? You've only got one life to live, darling dears. The lesson is not to hang on to situations that no longer serve you. And for some, it's been as much as five years that you'll never get back. Mm -hmm. On that note, I drops me mic. To upload to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. My Teespring is where you can get channel merchandise. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I'm kicking my way through these tarot streets again. Thank you very much for your continued support of me and this channel. I love each and every one of you. Big cats, cat, cat. Don't, for don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these messages with whomsoever you feel needs it. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the comment, darling dears, because your comment is a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Big cat wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. It's cold for the one who brings the light. I back to there's a crack. You don't fall back. Remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The use spell workers projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype. Your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low. So don't get smoked or smoke yourself. Big Cat, moving silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate.